is Alyssa. This is my assistant, Callie. Today we're gonna be doing some leaps, some at-home jumps, some exercises that'll help us with all of our leaps, and then we're gonna be working on a couple jumps. All right, so we're gonna start with five sets of 10 squat jumps, yeah? So we're gonna start all the way down. Knees stay in between our arms the whole time. We're gonna do five sets of 10. Ready, Callie? Six, seven, and a one, and two.
the other person can hold the chair and take a break while the second person does their jumps. So if you guys wanna get your siblings to do this with you, or if you wanna force your parents to get in some cardio, make them do it with you, then you get a break and you get to hold the chair for somebody while they do their sets. Yeah? All right, third set, girlfriend. Oh, one. Two, good.
doing it without anything. You still want to go all the way down, touch above your head, come up. Now here, you want to get lean back so our abs are still engaged. Go elbow to the floor, elbow to the floor. Then we come up. Then you're going to lay all the way down, touch your hands over your head, come up, and elbow, elbow, and down, up, elbow, elbow. Down, up, elbow, elbow. I'm gonna do two more. Down, up, elbow, elbow. And last one. Down, up, elbow, elbow. Good girl. Take a second and relax those abs. Why don't you roll over on your tummy and stretch them out. Okay, so you're gonna do 40 of those. We didn't quite do 40. I don't wanna kill her this video. So, 40 of those. Now we're gonna do sit squats. Okay, so you can use a chair for this, uh, you can use the couch, whatever you've got that's at like a decent booty height. Um, with these, here I'm gonna show really quick, I'll show this one thing before you start doing them. With these you're gonna sit, okay? Not sit all the way down, take a break and have a snack. Tap your butt and then you're jumping back up. So you go down, tap, jump. Down, jump, down, jump. Yes, we're gonna do 40 of these. Yeah. And go. One, and two, and three. Good, four, good girl. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, good, 17, 18, 19, 20, halfway there. Doing some jumps, okay? So, the first thing we're gonna 
do is we're going to do some feet stretches. You're going to take a ball. It can be a tennis ball, it can be one of these, which is an actual rollout football. And um, you can use a, uh, what are those balls? Um, the lacrosse balls are really good. They're nice and hard, so it really gets all those muscles rolled out, okay? So you're gonna do both feet. You're gonna put it on the floor. Start with your arch. So you wanna put it right in the arch of your foot. Push down. You're gonna roll back and forth all the way to the ball of your foot and back to the arch. Yeah, back and forth, back and forth. Really pushing down so that ball gets all those knots, really lengthens out all those muscles and everything in that foot. You'll do about 30 seconds each foot. Rolling all the way to the ball of that foot. Here, put your shirt. Good. And you want to get all the way from the second arch, which is right here in the middle of your foot. And you want to go all the way to your third arch, which is right here where the ball of your foot meets the end of your toe or the beginning of your toe. So you go all the way through there, back and forth, back and forth, pushing down as hard as you can so you really get all that stuff lengthened out and stretched. All right, other foot in. Same thing, start in that second arch and roll all the way to that third arch with the ball. Good. Uh -huh. Getting the inside and the outside of that second arch. seconds each foot. Put a timer on your phone. Yeah? Alright, now we're going to do an actual foot stretch. If you have blocks, awesome, that's the best thing. If you don't have blocks and you have a regular foot stretcher, you can use that. If you don't have a foot stretcher, stick your feet under a couch, stick your feet under a chair, anything. And what you're going to do if you don't have that foot stretcher, you're going to use it just like a foot stretcher. You're going to stick your feet under the couch or the chair and let your legs scoot back as far as you can. Straighten your legs out as that couch or chair holds your feet down. Yeah? But since we have blocks, we're going to use four blocks. So she's going to put three under her knees. And then she's gonna take one and place it between her heels and her butt. She's gonna sit back on that block and then she's gonna sit up as tall as she can so that the arches, her first arch, is pushing down toward the floor. Yeah? Now when we're doing this, you really wanna make sure that your feet aren't sickled. So keeping your heels into each other making sure that your ankles aren't rolling out toward the outside. You really want to keep those feet from sickling. So keeping those heels into each other, she's pushing that first arch down into the floor. Now this stretch you're going to hold for at least four minutes. If you're crazy and you want to hold it for longer, go for it. There's no harm in stretching your feet for longer. Once you get to the end of the four minutes, you're gonna sit up nice and tall with your hands on your head and hold for 10 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Then she's gonna come out of it and roll her ankles out. Yeah, really loosen those bad boys up. All right, so now that we've caught our breath, did a little stretch, we're gonna get into some jumps. All right, so we're gonna start with some split jumps from a squat. Now this is an exercise to help you work on front leaps, back leaps, really any leap because you're getting your legs all the way up, but really it's gonna help with those front leaps, getting those legs all the way up and even. So we're gonna start in our squat position, knees between your arms. We're gonna jump up, arms go up by your ears, hit your right split, and then come back down to that squat position. Now when she goes up, she's going to lift that chest all the way up. You don't want to be leaning forward. You don't want to be leaning back. You want your chest right in between your legs. And two.
two, go. Up, good girl. We're gonna do 10 of these on each side. Go ahead. Three, good, get that front leg all the way up. Four, good. Chest up, five, good girl, Callie. Five more. Chest up, front leg up. Nine. Eyes up, two. Ten. Good girl. Now, the reason I said eyes up, wherever we're looking, our body follows. So if we're looking down, naturally our chest, everything else is going to follow. Yes? So when we're jumping, the more you have your eyes up, the more it's going to keep your whole chin, chest, everything lifted and up. And you're gonna do 10 on the left. So starting in that squat position, jumping up, one, get that front leg up. Two, good girl, that was better. Three, good. Four, <laughs> you're running away. Five, good, arms up by your ears. Six, good girl. Front leg is turned out. So when we do these, 
Our front leg is turned out in the air, which means our heel is coming up to the ceiling. We don't want to have our leg turned in and rolling that way. Heel up to the ceiling. Yeah. Two more. Four. That was better. Good girl. And keeping our chest up. Last one. Five. Good girl. So we're going to pull the chair away. Now we're going to do five on the right, on the floor. Same thing, keeping our chest up. You're going to jump feet together and then pop both of those legs up at the same time. One. Good, Callie. Now keeping, notice her chest is nice and lifted. Her arms are nice and high. Her chin is lifted. All of that in her upper body is going to help her legs get higher. Everything get higher. Four more. Good girl, that's two. And notice how quiet that landing was. That was awesome. Rolling through her feet, keeping her center nice and tight. Three more. Three, good girl. Two more. Four, good. Squeezing that front leg all the way. Last one. Five, good. Then we're gonna pull the chair back and we're gonna do the same thing on the left. So on the left side, that left leg is forward, that right leg is behind you, in back attitude. We're gonna have our right arm high and our left arm out, reaching all the way through our fingertips. Yeah? All right, girlfriend, five in a row. One, good. Now remember what we talked about on that right side. Turning out so our heel is coming up to the ceiling this way. Yes? Good. Four more. Two. Good. Taking off of both feet. That was a better landing. Three. Good girl. Four. Good. Now before we do this last one, we're going to talk about the back leg a little bit. When you do this back leg, it's going to be up in attitude, right? So attitude, we have our knee lifted. Keeping our knee lifted comes from squeezing our butt. If our butt muscle isn't working, our leg's going to look like a check mark, not a back attitude. So you really want to make sure that that butt's working so it's a nice, pretty back attitude. Yeah, so concentrate on that this time. I want to do that back leg nice and turned up. Last one. Better. Good girl. Then we'll take the chair away and we'll do five without. Put together and one. Good. Pop both of those legs up evenly. Two. Good. Turn that back leg out. I really want to see that attitude. Squeeze right here in that little dimple. Three. Good. Front leg popping all the way up from underneath. Good, and we're gonna do one more. Five, good girl. All right, shake it out. All right, so now we're gonna do a couple of exercises for side leaps and toe touches. They work for both. We're gonna start with a floor exercise. You're gonna lay on your back. Arms are out to the side. Legs are gonna be all the way down in front of you. Now we're gonna do 10 of these. She's gonna demonstrate one first. You're gonna bend your knees. Come up to that second position. Now notice her butt is off the floor, her toes are touching. Then she's gonna come back down, legs in front of her, okay? So the reason I really emphasize butt off the floor is because when we're doing toe touches or side leaps, you wanna squeeze your butt so that your legs are in front of you. On the floor, that equals booty coming off the floor. Yes, so we're gonna do 10 of these in a row. Go, one. Are you in the air for an hour? Get it up, go. Fast and down, good. Four, good, straight knees. Five, six, good. Seven, eight, all the way out. Nine, last one, 10, good. All right, stand it up, girlfriend. Jumping off the chair like we were just doing in that floor exercise. Her leg 
is coming up slightly in front of her, yes? She's turning out, which means her heels are coming forward. You don't want your, the top of your foot coming forward, you want your heel coming forward, nice and lifted. She's gonna squeeze her booty, keep her chest up, and her arms are gonna be out to the side. Go ahead, five of them. One, good. Rolling through our feet when we land, making sure we're keeping our tummy tight. Two, good girl. Now when you jump off the chair, sometimes we have a tendency, because we're jumping a little bit forward to land in front of it, to dive with our chest. I don't wanna see that. I want you guys to keep your chest up and nice and lifted. Remember, the higher your chest and your upper body is, the higher your leap's gonna be. Two more. Four. Good. I really want to see those heels go forward on this last one. Chest up, turn out. Five. Good girl. Now we're going to do five without the chair. So this would be to work on your toe touches in place. Five of them. We're leaning a little bit this way because we crunched our sides. So, remembering that we want to keep our body nice and straight so that both legs, anyone, can come up evenly, arms out, nice and turned out, all the way up. Four more. Good, that was better. Lift your chest, squeeze your booty. Three, good girl. All the way up and out. You have two more. Four, that was better, good girl. Last one. Five, good. Now we're gonna do a side leap. Like I said, if you have a hallway or a big living room, you can do this, or outside in your backyard, yeah? If you don't have the room, just work on the in-place toe touches. It'll still work the same things for your side leap. So come on over, Callie. Now to get into this, you do a chasse step step. So you chasse with your right foot, step step. You're taking off of your left foot and then going straight up. Go ahead, Callie. Good. And as you notice, when she landed, we always cross behind and let's specifically ask by our choreographer to cross in front. That way we can turn out of it and go into our next one. One more for me on the right side, Callie. Now we're going to do the left. So on the left side, you chasse with your left, step, step, you take off of your right, jump, cross behind, turn out of it. Go ahead. Good, turn out of it. Making sure, now I always tell the kids, your middle splits, it's the same. No matter if you're going this way or this way. Middle splits is the same, it doesn't change. So the left side should not be any lower than the right side. Yeah, get those legs up. Good, that was better. Last leap we're gonna work on today, we're gonna work on our firebirds, okay? So we're gonna do an exercise for our front leg and for our back leg. Now, for this exercise for your front leg, we're gonna use the bar first, yeah? So Kelly, come back to the bar. If you don't have a bar, use the back of a chair. Yeah, use the back of your couch, anything. Use your kitchen counter, anything will work, okay? So this exercise for our front leg, we're working our right side first. So, you're gonna have your back leg in coupe, you're gonna be jumping and launching off of that right leg and popping it out as far as you can. Yes? One, pointing that foot. As soon as you come off the floor, it rolls through and points very hard. You straighten that front leg. Out, uh-huh, that's three, four, and five. Good, now we're gonna show it without the bar. We don't need the bar, we're gonna stand in center, and we're gonna do the same thing. Out, good, that's one, two, three, good girl, four, last one, five, good. Now we're gonna do an exercise for our back leg. Scoot back a little bit. You're going to PK up onto that right leg. Now, when you do a firebird, your arms are in high fifth and you're arching back, trying to get that toe as close to your head as possible. So we're gonna PK up, whack that back leg just as if we were in the air and get that back leg up. Go. 
One. Uh-huh. We PK up onto a straight leg. We're gonna do five. Two. That was better. Three. Two more. Four. Good girl. Last one. Five. Good. So that's breaking it down, working on each leg as if you're doing them separately. Now, the reason I like to use the chair when working on these stationary jumps or exercises for some of our jumps is because it gives the kids a little bit of height so they don't have to worry so much about the landing and coming down. It gives them a little bit more courage when they're doing it from the floor to really get those legs up and it gets them higher. All right, so you're gonna jump off this way. Front leg comes up straight, back leg bends, and we arch back. One, good girl. We're gonna do five of these. Now when we land, we're gonna keep our chest up. Two, good girl, that was much better. Three, good. Now when we do these, you're taking off of both legs just like when we were doing our jetes. Four, one more. <laughs> Last one. Five, good girl. Now we're going to do five without the chair. Keeping those legs popping up just as if you had that extra height. One, good girl. Let me see that front leg extend all the way. It's nice and straight. Two, that was better. And now same thing with these as our jetés. When that front leg comes up, it's always turned out, so it's heel forward, yeah? You wanna have the inside of your leg and your heel up toward the ceiling, yes? You have three more. Three, good girl, squeeze that front leg all the way. Two more. Four, good, Callie. Last one. Five, good girl. Now we're gonna do left side. Yeah. We're gonna go off the chair first. You'll do the exercises for the front leg and the back leg on the left as well. So you'll do those jumps in center, five. You'll do the PKs, five of those as well. Good girl, keep that chest up when we land. Two, good. Really get that back leg toe to your head. Sometimes when we're really concentrating on keeping that front leg straight, it kind of stiffens our back leg. Really work both. Yes, front leg all the way straight, that back leg bending and getting that toe all the way up to your head. Three, good girl, Callie. Two more. Four, very nice, last one. <laughs> and five, good girl. And like I said, whenever you're working with a chair and you're jumping off of it, either have somebody hold it for you or prop it up against the wall so that it's not tipping backwards. Yeah, I don't want to see you guys falling off of your chairs. Now we're going to do five without the chair. One, good girl, Kelly. Pop that front leg up nice and high. Heel to the ceiling. Two, that was better. You have three more. Three, good. Control that center as you come out of it. Four, last one. Everything you got. Five, good. All right, so those are some leaps that you can work on at home. Hopefully you have more space to be able to do a little bit more, but if you don't, those are a lot of our in-place jumps that we can work on, lots of exercises to work on those leaps. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you, Callie, for all your help, and we'll see you guys soon. Miss you all. Bye.